15 games. That's the suspension given today to Dave Brown of Philadelphia for this cross-check of the Rangers' Thomas Sandstrom last Monday night. It's the second suspension Brown has received for a stick attack on Sandstrom in the past year. Last season, he received a five-game suspension. Actually, the suspension is for the next 13 Flyer matches, plus their two December games against the Rangers. Brown's action and the debate over what penalty it should draw has activated the hockey violence debate the past week. And battle lines have been drawn along familiar divisions. You want to play with the bull, you get the horn. And that's what happens to a guy like that. You want to go and stand in a guy's crease, that's what happens to you. I'm sorry, this is the way it is. I don't understand what's going on. Guys are getting 20 games suspension. That's what they're talking about, Brown. 20 games suspension for a guy that only missed two periods? No, you're not even allowed to touch a player in front of the net. I mean, that's why he's getting suspended, because they, they, they turned around and gave the, the ice to this forward now. One time, the, the forward couldn't stand there. That was defenseman's part of the game, and he just wasn't allowed to stand there. And he got that. The referee gave him that part. Naturally, Rangers coach Michel Bergeron didn't subscribe to Brophy or Cherry's view after the game last week at Madison Square Garden. I can't take it. I mean, uh, I never seen. A, the, I'm coaching for eight, eight years in the league. I never see a, an act like that. Thomas Sandstrom is one of the best players in the league, and uh, if uh, players like Brown they don't try to, to kill him, I mean, it's not the uh, attempt to injure tonight, it's attempt to kill, and uh, I can't take it. I'm telling you, I'm, uh, it's the, the worst thing I've ever seen, I've never seen in hockey, and uh, I hope the league will do something about it. And while hockey traditionalists blame voices in the Canadian media for exaggerating the problem, Critics in the United States media have reflected their repugnance at Brown's action. Sure, hockey's a contact sport. It's often a collision sport. And you have to play with passion and guts to gain respect. But hockey is also a game of grace and high skill. And when retaliation turns into unvarnished vengeance, something gets diminished. It may not turn off or turn away a single hardcore hockey fan, but it cheapens an otherwise thrilling game for a lot of people who might otherwise learn to love the game as much as I do. And that's embarrassing to me, and I would hope to the NHL. Brown's suspension was announced by NHL Vice President Brian O'Neill. But injured you know, Islanders superstar Mike Bossy thinks to, we should be uh, hearing another voice. You can draw a comparison to the, to the U.S. situation right now where, where everybody's waiting for, for Reagan to, to do something or say something. And I think everybody in the National Hockey League or who is involved with hockey, whether it be in the minor leagues uh, or, uh, or the professional leagues, is waiting for Ziegler, and not Brian O'Neill, for Ziegler to say, well, this is not what we want in the National Hockey League. With the NHL season a month old, Brown's suspension represents the third such penalty for a stick attack this year.